Cut out all the elements from the main fabric and attach interfacing as marked in pink. Mark all the notches, buttonholes and buttons. I always do it with thread. Attach the side front to the front skirt. Put the front and side front right sides together. Fold the pleat evenly and pin. The stitch should hit the seam between the side front and skirt part. Attach the box feet to the seam allowance. Cut the seam allowance so that the seams can be pressed flat. Now fold the box piece on the back of the skirt. I marked the notches with pins to make it easier to understand. Start at the side of the skirt. Put the first notch on the second and pin it. Then put the third notch to the center of the skirt. Repeat on the other side and baste all folds vertically, so that they not move apart when sewing to the back. Attach the back to the skirt, make sure that the seams meet evenly. If you want to make bound buttonholes in your coat, now it's a good time. Prepare a long strip, fold it in half, sew it narrowly at the edge and divide it into 8 parts. Mark a buttonhole on the right and left side of the fabric. Mark half centimeter from the fold on the strip. Put the strips on the buttonhole so that the lines match. Sew on the marked lines, make sure you start and finish sewing in exactly the same place on both lines. Cut the hole in the middle and cut diagonally to the seams. Turn the strips inside out. You may notice small triangles at the ends of the buttonhole. Stitch these to the strips.
Now front facing. Put the two pieces with the right sides together and sew the collar. Prepare a strap for the hanger and fasten it in the middle of the collar. First attach the center of the back neck facing to the center of the collar, then pin the rest. To stitch the two pieces at an angle, you will need to cut the seam allowance in the front facing corner when sewing. Once you cut it, you can fully turn the back neck facing and sew it. Sew a few centimeters beyond the center of the collar and continue from the other side to make sure you sew it evenly. Sew the under collar the same way as facing. First sew the center of the collar, then fasten the arm with pins. Then pin the center of the collar together with the center of the back. Start sewing from the shoulder and as with the facing, cut the seam allowance when you reach the corner. Sew a few centimeters beyond the center and continue sewing from the other shoulder.
iron all the seams and attach the front facing to the front. Now the pockets. Attach a pocket back to the back skirt. Transfer the notches to both pocket bags. Attach the second pocket back to the front skirt, sew it to the seam allowance. Fold the pockets right sides together and unwrap the seam allowances to the inside of the pockets. Fold the pockets evenly so that the ends of the seams match. Print the rest and start sewing the side of the coat. Sew all the way to the pocket seam and unwrap the seam allowances back into their place. Sew a few centimeters of pocket bag and continue sewing from the other side. Repeat all steps and close the pocket bag.
Now sew the sleeves. Set the stitch length on the machine to 5 mm, make 3 parallel stitches and pull the threads to form a sleeve head. Then sew on the sleeves and attach the sleeve heads and shoulder pads. From the front paper pattern, cut out the lining piece and cut out all the elements of the lining. Trim the bottom of the skirt and slit 2 cm. Make 3 parallel stitches like for the sleeve head and gather part of the skirt to fit the front side. Mark the seam allowances and fold the elements right sides together so that the marked lines match. Start sewing from the shoulder. Once you reach the marked point, stop sewing and cut the seam allowance all the way to the needle. Cut only through the front section, not the side front, and be careful not to cut the threads with which you gathered the skirt. Turn the side front towards the skirt, adjust the shearing to the length of the side front and sew. Remove all gathering threads. Sew the rest of the lining, gather the back of the skirt and attach it to the back. Remember about the pleats on the back, everything is marked on the paper pattern. Gather excess fabric on the sleeves into pleats. Finish the bottom of the skirt 3 cm. Before sewing on the lining, attach the belt loops. Sew a lining 5 cm above the bottom of the facing.
Turn the coat inside out and sew the facing 3 cm. Trim off excess fabric at the corners. Once you turn the corner inside out, you will see excess fabric that needs to be stitched. Fold this piece with the right sides together, sew and trim off excess fabric. Iron the bottom of the skirt 3 cm and secure it with hand blind stitch. Now join the two parts of the collar by sewing the seam allowances together. Top stitch the coat. Note that the seam allowance on the facing is wider, thanks to which after joining the two parts of the collar, the seam will hide nicely. If you've made bound buttonholes, now it's time to finish it. Mark a buttonhole on the facing, attach a piece of lining, mark a buttonhole on it and sew it on. Cut open the hole and turn the lining inside out. And stitch the facing opening to the buttonhole. Attach the sleeve lining as it should look at the end. Fasten it with one pin. Turn the coat inside out. Thanks to the pin you can see how you should attach the lining. Sew it to the sleeve. Iron the bottom of the sleeve 3 cm, secure it with hand blind stitch. Attach all the buttons. Now let's move on to sewing the bulb. You won't find it on the pattern, you have to draw it yourself. Dimensions for each size can be found in the files.
all the dots in half and sew. Leave a hole in the middle to turn the belt over to the right side. Iron the seam allowances to make it easier to top stitch the belt later. At the ends of the belt, draw a diagonal line and sew. Cut up excess fabric and one seam allowance. Turn the belt over to the right side and top stitch. And here's the final results.